From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's June 6, 2013, the 69th anniversary of D-Day. A second lawsuit is challenging an Army Corps of Engineer permit granting ConocoPhillips access to leases within the National Petroleum Reserve, Alaska. The Senator for Biological Diversity has sued to block a plan approved by the Corps to connect a drilling site within the reserve to existing oil infrastructure by road and a bridge spanning the Colville River. Soldiers from Fort Wainwright trained last week to become certified in operating unmanned aerial vehicles. The Raven DDL is the Army's unmanned aircraft surveillance vehicle capable of live video recording and still image capture. Its main feature is its ability to provide real-time photos behind the enemy lines without putting soldiers in the field at high risk. The 24-hour relay for life to raise money to fight cancer will start tomorrow evening. The Survivor's Walk begins this American Cancer Society event on Friday evening for those who have or who have had cancer doing the first lap. Be sure to note there's a change of venue this year, utilizing a track near the Patty Center at UAF. The relay last year raised over $250,000. And Folk Fest is ready to go this weekend at Pioneer Park. This Saturday afternoon, the music starts at 1 and continues all day till 10. Guests can look forward to Athabascan fiddling, Celtic music, blues, folk rock, plus arts and crafts and food vendors. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather. The flood advisory continues for the Salcher River. Today, mostly cloudy with isolated showers, highs in the mid-60s. Tonight, mostly cloudy, isolated showers in the evening with lows in the lower to mid-40s. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, isolated showers in the afternoon, highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s, and we shouldn't see any more of that wind like we had yesterday, not for a while at least. Extended outlook, showers now maybe going to push into Saturday, and highs should stay around 70 on through midweek next week. And that's all we have for right now. Thank you for joining us. The rest of the News Center team will be here tonight at 6, bringing you the Fairbanks Evening News on KTVF Channel 11. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Please take CPR when you can and enjoy your day.